Hi everyone, it's Cass. And I'm Jen. And today we're talking about nutrition. Jen, we're so excited to have you here today. Can you tell everyone a bit about your background? Yeah, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I have been passionate about health and nutrition and fitness for as long as I can remember. I grew up in a very health conscious family. Growing up, we would have little rules in our house that if we wanted a sugary cereal, we would have to add a handful of Cheerios with it because that was deemed the more healthy cereal. Then as we got older, my sisters and I, we gained a little bit more freedom and we would go spend time at our friends' houses or go to summer camp and we would not hesitate to go for the most horrible junk food because that's not what we were used to. At some point in my teenage years, I decided to really dig deeper and figure out what really was healthy and find a good balance. And that just led to me becoming a certified holistic nutritionist. I became a personal trainer at one point, and now I help other people with their health and fitness journey. Wow, that's incredible. And I feel like so many people could relate to having an unhealthy relationship with food, especially, Definitely. you know, growing up. Yes. Um, but beautiful to hear how you turn that journey into a passion for fitness and nutrition and health, and now you're helping people to do the same. That's great. Thank you. So as a nutritionist, what is one piece of advice you can give to everyone listening? I think it comes down to balance. Having a healthy balance mentally when it comes to food choices, um, it also leads to physical health and just at the very least, making sure you get in your fruits and vegetables because they have so much nutrients. Also a good healthy balance between fat, proteins, and carbs without becoming too obsessive over it. But if you just make sure that you get your nutrients in at the end of the day, even if you treat yourself here and there, I think that leads to a lot of health in the future and just strength. You want to make sure that you're strong so that when you're older, you have a better chance of not having injuries. And it all starts from our diet and eating clean whole foods. That's so true. Proper nutrition plays such a huge role on our overall health. Though I have to be honest, it is so hard getting in all of the veggies. You know, that's the case for a lot of people and research is showing that eating a range of vegetables, especially green leafy vegetables, is truly beneficial for health and longevity. Yes, and there's a ton of research coming out on green leafy vegetables, specifically improving health. This past year, there was a study published in Neurology that investigated whether eating green leafy vegetables had an impact on cognition. And researchers found that those with the highest consumption of these veggies were linked to slower cognitive decline. So the numbers were the equivalent to cognition almost 11 years younger. Wow, that's crazy. I totally believe it though. Of all the fruits and vegetables, green leafy vegetables are the toughest to get in. I mean, that's a lot of salads. That is so true. That's why green powders are so popular and it's hard to find the right one, but they could really help you reach your daily servings. Yes, finding the right one is really important though. I've been taking American Grown Greens, which is awesome. I love it because it's easy to use. It has organic wheatgrass, organic kale, organic barley grass. All of them are grown in the United States and that's it. There's no other preservatives, no additives, no sneaky chemicals or weird sweeteners. And I love that each batch is independently tested for heavy metals. That is so important when looking for a good greens powder. Should we try some? I like to try mine as a wellness shot. If yeah, you wanna... let's do it. Yeah, okay exactly what it says it has yeah nothing <laughs> has, else yeah nothing else no sweeteners <laughs> but i like that you can add your own that's really great because sometimes sweeteners and products taste very artificial sometimes they're too sweet or i like to be in control of what i put in my body and what the taste is so this is perfect because it's just the baseline you know you're getting what it says you're gonna get and you can add it to things or add sweeteners and I think it's great. I yeah. love it. Yeah, I agree. I like putting it in my smoothies too. Yes, that would be great. And you can even add extra spinach, fruits to sweeten it up. You can even add a package of stevia. And I think that, I think it's a great product. Thank you, Jen, so much for coming in Thank today. Thank you. It was such a pleasure learning about your background and your passion for nutrition. Thanks for having me. It was fun. It really was. So stay tuned for more Nature Restore content. We'll see you soon. Bye.